the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. My dear viewer, welcome to Monday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, the ninth day in the month of October 2023. We begin our reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our theme for reflection today is, Who is my neighbor? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 10, Verse 25 to 37. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Beloved in Christ Jesus, Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan a profound and timeless lesson about compassion and love for one's neighbor. Who is my neighbor? Who is your neighbor? In response, Jesus shares a tale of a compassionate Samaritan who goes above and beyond social and cultural boundaries to help a wounded Jewish man on the roadside. While the priest and the Levite pass by the injured man, the Samaritan, despised by the Jews, exemplifies true neighborly love. He tends to the wounded man's wounds, takes him to an inn, and ensures he receives proper care, displaying empathy and selfless generosity. This parable challenges us to reflect on our attitudes and actions towards one another, to step out of our comfort zones, acknowledge that shared humanity in every individual, and then respond with compassion regardless of the, our social and cultural barriers. We are called, dear friend, not only to love those close to us, but to extend our love and care to strangers and live the love and kindness that transcends societal divisions. We are called to love our neighbors unconditionally, practicing empathy and reaching out to those in need. So the Gospel of Luke invites us to examine our hearts and cultivate a spirit of genuine care for one another. In this way, we will foster a community built on love, understanding, and acceptance. Jesus' timeless command to you and I is, Go and do likewise. And so we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the timeless wisdom found in the Gospel of today, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Teach us, dear Lord, to be like the Samaritan in this story, overflowing with compassion and kindness. Open our eyes to see the needs of one another, regardless of our background and our circumstances. Fill our hearts, dear Jesus, with a spirit of generosity and empathy, so that we may willingly help those around us, offering not just our resources, but also our time and our understanding. Grant us the strength to break down the barriers that divide us, to reach out in love to those who are hurting or in despair. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. 
You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.